Yo, what up? This is Young Chief. Please say the chief, chief, and don't be a thief. The the single BBAF was inspired by Flubber. I think it's his take on SA hip hop. It's his style of of music. If even like Bamusom Dogo, you know, those are like conversations and content that you know are really just like light hearted. But for the game and the versatility that it provided, it was just crazy. And also the fact that, you know, me and him were born on the same day. We both were born on the same day as Eminem. Also, there's a destiny tied into that. And so it's no coincidence that every time like I ran into him or we, we interacted back in the day, like he always showed me a different type of love um, that I didn't even understand at the time. But it, I think like, you know, our destinies are kind of like intertwined and I just had to show him love for that, you know. Initially, I, I, I just done the song like during lockdown and when Funa like just like music to be out because I didn't know what I was going to do next because we didn't know what was going to happen. But, um, you know, and then I even shot the video like in April or something, you know. Um, but then like I, I finished the, the, the album and, you know, it just felt like the right place to start because it's inspired by all of these Tosa kids that are just sending me their things and telling me that they never used to rap in their own language and like they feel like they found themselves, you know. So I felt like, you know, the the first step before we get into like the whole pop star story it should just be to like keep encouraging them to diversify the language in, in, in rap and and just to keep it growing man you know i want them to know that they're on the right path you know i'm not shooting my shot at boiti um the song was like i said it was like a freestyle you know and then at the end, like, you know, um, I was just imagining being on stage and I just wanted like, to, you know, quite they repeat the same thing over and over again. So I tapped into that, but like, I wanted to repeat like something that is an undeniable fact. And I think that we can all agree that she is. So yeah, but she's the homie though. And I'm in a serious relationship. <laughs> Wait, what does it say? Oh, oh, cause I say not the corner store, the corner office. No, that is definitely not a shot at MT. It's just like me saying, you know, like black people in general, like, you know, you can find us at every corner store, you know, um, not so much the corner office, you know, it's just a, like a black person thing. Like, you know, most of my perspective on this album is just based on where black people stand in society and you know how they view themselves and the things that they aspire for um over and above like white approval and acceptance etc you know it starts here at home so just trying to shift the mentality to like bigger dreams and boardroom dreams you know yeah